In this video, you are going to get three tips to help your athletes focus in competition. You know, when athletes are lacking focus, coaches often say things like, get your head in the game, or you need to focus out there. Coaches, you need to understand that non-focusing, it's built into kids' hardwiring. It shows up as curiosity and exploration in order to learn as much as they can. That's their job as a kid. And it's actually a very powerful survival mechanism. Now, knowing that, you can have some empathy while helping them improve this mental skill instead of just thinking they're being lazy or not motivated. And yes, it is a skill that can be learned by anyone, just like physical skills. That's what we're here for, through practice and repetition and guidance from you. So how to help them? It's really quite simple and it's based on this. Tell them what to focus on, right? You know, when you tell a kid he just needs to focus without any other direction, generally you're going to create confusion because they really don't know what that means. Also, you have to choose what will be the most effective thing for a player and what they should focus on and when. Now, generally speaking, during game time, you know, you want to advise young players to focus on three areas which gives their brain enough to process and stay with and yet narrow enough to keep them fully engaged and productive in the game or, or meet or match. One, what their body needs to do to perform. Now, this can otherwise be called fundamentals and you can add in specifics about that player's position to direct them efficiently for the team strategy or the player strategy that you figured out before the game. Two, what their teammates are doing and communicating. Have the players zero in on what all the team is saying and doing through their actions and their verbal commands. That's a perfect blend of focusing thoughts to put the young athlete's mind on. Three, the present moment. I talk a lot about this because Fear cannot exist in the present moment. You can't tell a player to get present. They don't know what that means either, unless you've already taught them, guide them to direct their mind to what their five senses are taking in. For example, let's say a player comes off the field, it's, in, it's between action, and you can see that their head's not in the game. Jumps. Pay attention to your body right now. What are you feeling? Any aches, pain, tightness? How's your energy? Jones, let me, uh, tell me what you see out there on the field right now. What do, you, what do you know about the field or the ice or the court? Jones, what do you hear right now? Right? Ask them questions like that and get responses from them. That'll tell you that their mind is back on what is going on in the present and not things from the past or things that could happen in the future. Then send them back out there and have them continue that process out on the court. In conclusion, coaches and parents, be specific. Tell your players what you would like them to focus on that's easy for them to do. And remember, they want to please you. Take advantage of that. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigel, the Mental Toughness Trainer.